I have seen many people struggle to eat well during their treatment. This video will help you overcome the symptoms that you may be suffering with and give you some ideas of ways to help you maintain a, a healthy weight during your treatment. You may find that you suffer with a poor appetite uh, during your cancer treatment, in which case it may be more helpful for you to eat little and often snack-sized meals. If you're finding that you're feeling full quickly, again, small frequent snack-sized meals can help. You may find that nutritional supplement drinks can be helpful for you if you are struggling to eat solid food and meals. These come in a variety of forms. Some are available over the counter, such as Build Up Shake and Complan. Um, these come in a powdered sachet, which can be made up with milk or water. You may prefer a ready made ready to drink supplement such as 40 Sips, Ensures and Fresher Bin drinks. These are available on prescription from your GP. An alternative is a yogurt style drink, such as 40 Creme Complete and Ensure Cremes. These again are available on prescription from your GP. If you feel you may benefit from a prescribable supplement, please contact your dietitian for further advice. You can also make your own high calorie and protein nutritional drinks at home using ice cream, fresh fruit, full fat milk, yogurts, syrups and honeys. For example, here is a pint of skim milk. One pint of skim milk on its own will provide 193 calories and 18 grams of protein. If we add just four tablespoons of skim milk powder it will dramatically increase the calories and protein. After fortifying your skim milk, you will manage 400 calories and 31 grams of protein in just one pint of milk. If you are struggling to eat well, it is important that you make the most out of everything that you eat. You should avoid diet, low fat, low calorie and low sugar foods and instead take full fat, full sugar foods where possible. Here is an example of how you can make the most out of even just your porridge. So a small portion of porridge made with full fat whole milk will normally provide 170 calories and seven grams of protein. If you add two teaspoons of skimmed milk powder along with just one teaspoon of sugar and two chopped dates, you can then increase the calories to 318 and 11 grams of protein in just one portion. Another example of a simple way you can enrich your food is through using mashed potato and some high fat supplements. So one scoop of mashed potato as shown here will provide around 60 calories and one gram of protein. If you add just one teaspoon of butter, one tablespoon of cheese, one teaspoon of double cream, this will give you 190 calories and four grams of protein. Another example of how you can fortify your foods is using rice pudding. So if you take half a tin of rice pudding shown here in the bowl, this will give you about 190 calories and seven grams of protein. So by adding one tablespoon of cream, one tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons of your dried skim milk powder, you can then eat and enjoy your rice pudding providing 350 calories and 13 grams of protein. Taste changes are common after chemotherapy and surgery and can persist for some time. Here are some ideas to help you enjoy your foods again. You can try to overspice your foods by adding extra herbs and spices, this can help you enjoy your foods. You can try adding lemon onto your food. So by squeezing lemon onto things like fish, curries and pasta sauces, it can help you again taste and enjoy your foods. You can try new foods and foods that you previously haven't enjoyed. Your taste will now have changed and you may actually enjoy these now. You may feel sick or nauseous during your treatment. Some tips of things you can try to do for yourself to help you eat well include 
eating little and often, so avoiding long periods of time without eating. You may find that smells of cooking upset you, and you might find that using simple, easily prepared foods and ready meals at this time is helpful. Try to avoid overfacing yourself at meal times and choose small portions. If you're suffering with loose stools during your treatment, this can make you feel uncomfortable and make it difficult for you to eat. At this time, you should avoid high fibre foods and choose more from low fibre alternatives, choosing white breads, low fibre cereals and avoiding too much fruit and vegetables at this time. You should also make sure that you're having adequate fluid, so drinking at least 8 to 10 glasses of fluid each day is important to rehydrate yourself. If you have a high output stoma, you may wish to add additional salt to your foods at this time to help you absorb the fluid that you are taking. You may find that you swing from diarrhea to constipation. Constipation can make you feel very uncomfortable and make eating difficult. At this time, you should try to increase your intake of high fiber foods, having lots of whole grains and soluble fibers such as linseeds and porridge can be helpful at this time. You should drink plenty of fluid and try to get some exercise if you can. If you're feeling bloated, this can be due to a trapped wind buildup and you should try to help your bowels move regularly by exercising, drinking plenty of fluids and taking lots of fibres in your diet if you're able to. You should try to avoid wind forming vegetables at this time such as cabbage, sprouts, broccoli and cauliflower. So we have discussed a number of ideas and tips that we hope will be helpful for you to help you eat well during your cancer treatment and beyond.